One group that knows the meaning of hard work every day of the year are nurses. Uh, this fall, many nursing students are headed back to school. They are preparing to enter a field that many are leaving due to the current strain. Nicole Christine uh, spoke with a young nurse and two nursing students to hear their thoughts about the current state and future of that profession. We didn't really expect that it was going to hit so full force so fast. Grace Boo has spent the majority of her two years in nursing on the front lines fighting COVID-19. The things she describes, including the final moments with some patients, are memories not many can relate to. And it was hard because the family members could see them outside the door, but they weren't able to go in. So they would have to say their goodbyes through a window. And it was hard to see that. Um, and it's happened multiple, more times than I would like to count. The weight of the nursing profession during the pandemic is something local nursing students like Kaylee Meehan have noticed. Being within the hospital, especially for our clinical experience, you really see it where they have patients where we're discharging a patient as a nursing student, like you're helping discharge, and within an hour, that bed is full, filled again. ISU nursing student Blake Wiseman has also observed the burnout among local nurses. I did an externship this summer at a community hospital, and a lot of people, they were like, if this keeps getting worse, like, I don't think I can do this again. It scares me because I don't want that to happen to me, especially during my first uh, year in the profession. The American Nursing Association anticipates more than 500,000 seasoned registered nurses will retire by 2022. And the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics projects a need for 1.1 million new RNs to avoid further shortage. Um, I'm scared that I'm going to be scheduled and it's just going to be me and other new grads. Um, because like all the experienced ones are going to be gone. Despite the current situation, Meehan remains passionate and prepared thanks to her schooling. When I get to a point in my life, if I ever reach a point where I'm, you know, feeling burnt out, it would be inspiring to look back on all we've gone through just as nursing students and realizing that, hey, like this isn't so bad. We can totally do this. Wiseman encourages fellow nursing students to stay dedicated to the career. Stick to it if it's something you're passionate about because people need passion in this world right now. And for Boo, her strength comes from co-workers and a commitment to the level of care she knows is needed for her patients. When it gets tough, always think, if you had a family member there, how would you want to take care of them? You would want them to have the best care possible. Um, I always think, I always try and take care of every patient like it's my own family member. With Local News That Matters, I'm Nicole Christine. To hear how both Kaylee and Blake became interested in the nursing field, check out this story, the full story, on our website, mywabashvalley.com.